Hey guys, I am playing Minecraft yet again. I love Minecraft. It's my like a coolest game ever I've ever seen in my entire life. <coughs> so today let's just start something new here, guys. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. I just suck. Just kidding. I'm gonna call it new. How do you guys like the sound of that? Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. Gonna be, if you're gonna be in survival, I can teach you a few stuff. Survival, if you're in creative, I'll do creative. But today I want to do it in creative mode. <coughs> Great. <coughs> it's gonna take a few seconds. <coughs> and yes, if you're wondering why. I have an Xbox it's because I have an Xbox. Duh. <coughs> this is not streaming live, but it's yet again a recorded version for this. <coughs> sea pic pickles can be smelted into lime green dye. Do they have sea cucumbers instead? Didn't. <coughs> yes, I'm gonna fly over here, see what we can do around here. Usually, if I want to build something today, which I am going to build something today, today I am going to teach you guys. Like, usually, when you go on YouTube and you see Minecraft stuff, you see something super complicated and something that you're going to say, Oh, why don't you do this? <coughs> well, today I'm going to do something super easy. <coughs> super easy. And it's super awesome. So usually what I do for Y is usually I like to put it to my inventory like it usually is in survival mode. <coughs> and keep X at the normal, like, everything. So when I want to build something, I always use oak oak wood. Like today I'm going to actually teach you guys how to just build a random house that if you don't, if you're in survival mode and you don't have enough uh, wood for resources, I'm going to teach you how to build a really easy house that you can make. And if you have enough resources to make windows, I'm going to teach you how to make like a normal little wooden house. <coughs> These aren't all my things I'm gonna use right now, but for right, but how to get started? Yes. So you got. <coughs> so usually, like that. Yeah. And usually, if you want to um, conserve resources, like if people want to build a square, if people are building a square like this, I'm showing you guys right now. <coughs> Not technically a square. <coughs> they try to build a house that'll probably look like a square. But what, how I do it is. It'll still look like a square from the inside, unless you get, because you can still get rid of the sides, and it conserves wood. It'll conserve everything from it. <coughs> so let's find a clear area. Like, I'm going to guess right about here would be good. So, if you have enough, you might not have enough wood, but if you do, then this is the house you might want to have. So you go by fives. I have my fives. Go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> you cross it over like one, two, one, two. You use your oak door on the outside instead of the inside because on the outside you have a lot. You you don't want to take up too much room. Hold up while I adjust the settings for a second. Always day. And that's what you can do if you have pocket edition. Like, if you have pocket edition on anything, a like console or on your iPad or P P PC or phone, <coughs> then it's super easy to do this because it's called, the, like, the cheats are the easiest thing to do if you're in survival mode. I mean, not survival mode, creative mode. Yeah. I'm starting to have a loss of words today. It's starting to suck. <coughs> so what you usually want to do is, like, <coughs> You want to build surroundings, so you want to get everything looking good, and then you can go back and do all these decorations. <coughs> Usually in survival mode, you can't fly, so that's a bummer, like a really big bummer, because if you can't fly, then it's like, wait, why are we watching Blood Daniels do this? But just to say that sometimes in survival mode, you can usually just like get a brick right there and just like climb on top of it and just do it like that. And that's one way how to do it. You can use, or you can use a ladder. That's another way how to do it. 
So right now I'm gonna use these Oakwood stairs and usually if I wanna do something cool and decorative, I usually use a little bit of blind or something like that. <coughs> <coughs> something to interest all you guys. <coughs> so yeah. Usually if you want to do something cool, like you can make a house out of four hot, like do it high with four or something like that. <coughs> I suggest probably a four or a three. Maybe a three, and sometimes you have a wood shortage because then you can put the stairs and look like it's a four normally. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the stairs like right here. Actually, I'll shorten it down for you guys. Usually put usually stack it by three because when you do the stairs it looks like it's going higher than three. So it'd be like it's going by a four but elevated. <coughs> oh, this is just lost everything. No. <coughs> a stairs I usually use often for the um roof instead of a flat roof with um the big bricks. These stairs just look more decorative. Even though I said you can go back and do decorative, but in this case, you want to do decorative for the house product. Ah. I keep forgetting that this is my... <coughs> I always think this is my Xbox. Like, I usually have, like, an old Xbox One on here. My old Xbox Minecraft game, when it's usually just, like, like different ways of going down, different ways of going up, like that, stuff like that. It's always messed up. Ah. So what you want to do is, like, when you do this, you might want to put some in there to do that like that and then you could either put still the blocks or you can just go on the side and connect them there's <coughs> multiple ways you can do this and always remember one thing <coughs> when you're doing a house like this and you cover it up all the way it's going to look awesome first of all yet it's simple <coughs> yet again if you have a house in, in any kind of house, you might want to have a torch so you can keep monsters out and keep everything bad out because you do not want um, to go in your house one night and you see a creeper and a spider in there at the same time. And the, the second you go back out, you just see a skeleton right there trying to shoot you. <coughs> it's your idea of what you want to do on this, but usually if I want to do classy stuff, I will usually put glass on top. Make sure you can look, look up the sky if it's like a cool night or something like that. <coughs> like a planetarium. Second you go in, you're like, hey, this is pretty cool. So about that side again. Oh, this is pretty cool. <coughs> you can choose any type type of bed, but I'm gonna choose a specific type of bed. <coughs> And you might want to have those two things with you at all times. You don't have. You can choose where the bed would want would want to be, but my what I usually do, I usually put the bed like right here. I want to do a double bed. And since this is a sim simple house, you can do that, and you can usually do have a table in the furnace. If I want to do blinds, at least I can do windows also. If I want to do blinds, I'll usually just do like something simple like boom blinds. Open it up, close it. <coughs> and yes, you would probably want to put um, glass like right there. <coughs> or even just like a little side view <coughs> what it's like. I honestly just would do it like sort of like that. I should like that so you can see it like this way instead of you seeing a skeleton just standing there staring at you. <coughs> let's see if we can get what I want here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom carpet. Usually I would add like a little bit of carpet around something. You don't have to use exactly white carpet. You can use something like white carpet, like any kind of carpet, or you can just leave the floor plain. 
<coughs> the choice is up to you if you want to do something like that. Eh. Now, if you really don't, now if you really have a bunch of resources like you have redstone or, yeah, you know, let's just say, let's just say you have redstone, redstone, then you'll be able to have access to, like, eh. like access to every single one of these probably. But for now, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna show like so you gotta get a lever. Put this bed up. Put this craft table and furnace up. <coughs> what you usually wanna do also is that so you have lever, um, fence, a little bit of a fence, and a redstone lamp. What I usually do on here is when I use a redstone lamp. <coughs> what I would usually do is I would do this. Boom! I got myself a lamp. You can customize the lamp. You can leave it any way you want to. That's how I do the lamp. And if you want to, um, <coughs> you can also have a place for your chest. So it's like you can get up. Let's just say you want to put your chest right there. You get a chest. <coughs> for me personally, I would have two chests because it's a much bigger in size and you can store more stuff in it. Classic though. <coughs> That's why I love it. So you can add anything else, like if you want to go to de decoration, you can go for like sign, painting, or a f item frame. <coughs> but I suggest if you want the size of the painting to be correct, you would use it like... I'm trying to find a cool painting. A soothing one. Oh, there you go. <coughs> I'm not going to have a painting there. So you can have a painting like that. If you want to make sure, like, if you're in online mode and survive in, um, Minecraft, you could usually, like, I don't know if some people do this, but you can name your house. So just put name. <coughs> Boom, you got your house there. And if you want to do it more, if you want to add anything, you're well welcome to add anything. <coughs> well, this is Blade, Blade Daniels. Number. One thing. Oh yeah, and if you wanna, um, if you don't, if you don't have redstone, and you don't have a redstone lamp, and you're not able to access like this lamp and all that stuff, <coughs> like not a good light source, you could always just use a torch. And a torch, I would usually put over my bed, or usually I put it over the um door and then outside to make sure the monster stay away. You can also put it around here, like around everywhere, <coughs> to make sure the monsters don't get you at night. So that's one way how to do it. And yeah, that's a sheep. Hello, sheepy. Hello, die. Die. I know where you live. Actually, no, I don't. So. Yeah, and that's, um, <coughs> say, uh, cool, normal, adequate, simple house. 